So let's refresh a couple more times. Two, three, four. So now our count should equal to four. So we've successfully created our function to update the count value. However, what we need to do now is um, we need to check whether the um, IP, our IP address already exists in the table. But we haven't actually input our IP address into the table yet. So we need to do that first. So let's uh, change this back to zero. Okay, so um, let's uh, not call this update count function for now. Now, what we've got now is a function that's going to work. Let's just get rid of this if statement. It's not required at all. We just uh, are updating the query there, and if it doesn't work, we are um, we're silencing this anyway. So, because it doesn't really matter um, anyway. Okay, so we've created our function, which is update account. That works, and we can use that later on to update the count if a val if uh, this function returns true. So if the IP address does exist. So let's um, first of all up here. Every time our page is run, we want to store the users. Oh no, sorry. Okay, so update count is fine. We've got IP exists, and we also want a function. I didn't think this through properly. Obviously, we need IP add, and this is going to add, this is going to add an IP address to our um, database. So again, we're taking in IP, and um, okay, yeah. So IP add. So we need to add an IP address to our table. Our table is. Just refresh this to blank that. Our table is hits IP and our field is IP. So, what we want to do is um, we want to first of all create a create query, and this is going to be equal to insert in capitals, insert into, um, and our table name is hits, I, hits IP, insert into IP values, and we only have one value, so that's it. Values is the IP that we specify in here. So that can just be IP like that. Now we come down and we say um, query run equals MySQL query query. Okay, so let's just uh, first of all get rid of that and um, and we need to call this function. So what we're doing is down here we're calling the function, we're saying IP add, and the IP that we want to specify is the user IP. So we call this function, the user IP, which we've grabbed from our session, our server data, is transferred through to this function and is added to the database. Because we're taking this argument here and putting it in here. Okay, so uh, user IP is added to a database now let's check if this was working let's go back and refresh okay let's go into browse and you can see that our IP address has been added okay so we also have a problem here in the fact that a duplicate entry might exist so we might have two of the same IP address in here however we're going to do this later on in our if statements we're only going to add an IP if it doesn't already exist in the database and that's what we have let's just delete this function that's what we have this function IP exists for now remember we got the global user IP from here so we're accessing uh, this IP address from outside the function now we need to, well, I've added the IP into the IP address, so now we can check if it's there or not. So we're going to perform the check first of all while it is in there, then we're going to perform the check after, after I've manually deleted it. So um, IP exists, first thing we need to do is create a query. And the query is select IP from, and we can uh, put these in there, select IP from hits IP where um, IP is equal to user IP. Now let's run this function and then I'll explain a bit about what we're doing. 
or what we're going to do. Okay, so this function is going to select an IP address, which we don't we don't need to do. We could have selected star, but I've just specified it. From the hits table, where we've already got one IP address, which is 127.0.0.1, uh, where the IP equals my current IP address. Now, what we can do is we run the query, and we can return the amount of rows returned. Now, if the rows returned e is equal to 1, this means that we the address already exists in the database. If we return a zero rows, so no rows, then the IP address doesn't. And remember, we do this using the MySQL num rows function. 